Good morning, guys. How you doing? How you doing? Having a good day so far? It's gonna be good. I am camo man today. Look out. I blend in. So I finally got to hang up these maps in my room here. I got my world map here. I believe I got that one from my sister Cheryl a while ago. I got my US map over there. I'm gonna hang a Canada map right there once I can find it. I don't know where it went. I got my uh, uh, Jerusalem poster here. That's the old city of Jerusalem on the top there. That on that side is Nazareth. And this side here is Bethlehem. Sort of like pictures of the, the old cities and whatnot. Yep, so that's, I think it looks a lot better then. At least there's something on the wall there then, right? Nicely centered, right Diesel? Oh, good boy, good boy. Oh yeah, you're gonna guard the house good, right? I'm gonna guard this bed good, man. I'm gonna hold it down so it doesn't fly away. Well, this camel man is about to hit the road. We gotta go get James and we're late. And our progress is halted. Why? Because we're late, that's why. These are regular trains out here on the prairies of Canada. They're over a mile long. Well, it was a delicious, delicious meal. James is still working on his. Yeah, I'm a slower eater. Yeah. I sort of inhaled it, I was hungry. We're just here in El Deschain restaurant slash bar slash everything. This is actually where I used to live. I guess I can tell them that now. We used to spend a lot of time in here. It's called Wranglers. It used to be my hometown. Not anymore. So we came to what is a staple of Winnipeg and I don't think I've ever taken you guys here before. <laughs> this is the Forks Marketplace in Winnipeg. It's sort of where the two rivers meet, where sort of Winnipeg began. Yeah, the Cinnaboy River and the Red River. And this is where the, what do they used to do here, like fur trading and stuff when we first settled here? Yeah, yeah, this is all free trade here, so any any type of goods, not just furs, but... Ah, and these are the original, a lot of the original buildings, like over there, yeah, the original like, buildings uh, as well. The old train, Winnipeg train stations right here, if you step this way, across, mm -hmm. the green roof. Oh yeah, the green roof there, that's the old... That's the train station. Yeah. And then here's uh, Fort Gary, which is one of our main hotels with the green roof. Yes. That's that... a revolving restaurant up there. It's called Prairie 360. Mm -hmm. My grandma actually lives um, the building right behind this one that's facing us. Mm -hmm. She's right in the middle and she's the last apartment before um, before the condo suites. Fascinating. I've actually been up in that revolving, re revolving restaurant. It's actually very nice in there. I haven't been up there since they switched from the revolving to Prairie 360. Oh, okay. I have a gift card for 100 bucks from there. I just <laughs> Actually, I bet you I've got it in my wallet. <laughs> there it is. Prairie 360. Hey, Skyline yo. restaurant and lounge. The lounge being the key word there. <laughs> Travel Manitoba. I need to go talk to these guys. Look at this fireplace. We're about to go check out the view from the Forks Tower. What is that, like four stories up? It's not even that high. It's like a glass elevator too, eh? Up we go. That feels weird. Here we go, city of Winnipeg. That right there is the Assiniboine River. It goes to meet the Red River. Where, right over there, I think. It's the forks, which means it's the fork in the river. Walk right across here. Where are you gonna walk? You could stand right there, I guess. Oh, it'd freak me out. <laughs> I don't want to do it, but I'll probably be kicked out of the forest with a hammer. <laughs> so through this building you can see over there that weird shaped building. That is the Museum of Human Rights. It's the newest eyesore in Winnipeg. 
It's actually a nice high sword. That's actually nice. It's still kind of weird. I don't know. And over here is downtown. Downtown Winnipeg. Like we were saying before, that creepy looking building straight ahead of you there. That's the the Hotel Fort Gary, or the Fort Gary Hotel. Some say it's haunted. And then this, here we're facing south. And these buildings down here were the original buildings here at the Forks. Like James was saying before, it was a, a free trade post, a trading post. In early Manitoba, when the first settlers came here. River actually get on right over here, and you can go for uh, roughly a mile and a half along the river skating. Mm hmm. I think it's actually the world's longest skating rink. Yep, you start around here, and you can skate all the way up the river, all the way up there, as you can see. Pretty well, just past where that tower crane is, you can go past there. Yeah world's longest skating rink. That hospital right in front of us there, that's where I was born. You were born in St. Pete? Yeah. Born right in that building there somewhere. I was born in Steinbach. That's where my life began. It's fascinating how that works. <laughs> Here they come. So we ended up here at St. Vitale Silver City. Hang out here for a while. I think we're waiting for one of James's friends to show up yet. Gonna meet him here and check things out. Good morning, you beautiful people. We're here Good with, morning, YouTube. We're here with James again. Day two of hanging out. We didn't film very much yesterday, so you're getting two days in one. You're welcome. We're about to go, we're at my house right now. We're about to go to his house and watch a 3D movie or something, or just help them. Cook up some deer. Yeah, I think uh, I got a little charcoal barbecue. I think probably cook up some of that deer that I shot the other week. Yeah, how big was that deer? It was just a little buck, oh, two okay. years old. Um, first tag you can only get bucks and uh, well as all hunters out there know big bucks any buck it's not the easiest to come by so when it's bucks only you kind of take what you can get especially bow season but, yeah uh, he dropped it with a bow yeah I did it was a good good clean shot dropped him instantly didn't even take a step nice um, for my second tag which we can only do it within certain areas of the province but uh, then it's does only. Well, I took a little buck, which is very tasty, but I'll take a big doe, because even a big doe is very t tasty, and I need more meat. My, my buck's already a third gone, <laughs> and I've been gone in Cuba for a week, so it's like... You've been eating deer, lots of deer. Yeah, I've ate We're gonna a, go eat some deer. Ate a third of my deer in two weeks. I love those little, uh, what do you call them, little fire starters, little zip things. Yeah. Little cheaters. They yeah, were good. So we're cooking up some of that deer that James got. So he actually got this deer himself, and we're gonna try some deer today for the first time for me. He just sent me in to get plates. The raw meat sauces. Oh, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it will be tasty. Wild deer. Yep. Harvested it myself. 
<sighs> well, time to head home. Had a good barbecue here. Oh, that deer meat was so was good. So good. I've never had deer meat in my life before and I was very impressed. But James is a very good uh, cook when it comes to meats and whatnot. He makes his own hamburger sometimes. I, I know I've shared it in the vlogs before. Makes some good meat. Anyways, I'm gonna head home now. Spend some time with the boys this evening. My roommate JP is getting home from a trip today. And I don't know, probably have a bonfire at home or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But for now, I just sort of want to go and relax and do nothing at home. Is that a crime? If it is, arrest me and take me in. Well, we couldn't pass by Tim Hortons on the way home and not stop and say hello. That would be criminal. Hello, Tim Hortons. Okay, now we can go home. Home sweet home. There we go. Oh, well, I guess I can clean that up. James crashed here last night yet. Look at my flags. Oh, look at my house, look at my house. I'm so tired. I want to have an early night tonight. Absolutely. Let's get the boys. Tito. There's a weasel in there. Oh my, hey guys. Hey, hey man. Hey, so glad you came home. It's a fun day. I know I combined two days into one. Sorry about that if you didn't like that, but that's just the way it turned out today. Sometimes when I'm at home, that's what I do. I'll sort of take a weekend to myself, even if it was in the middle of the week. <laughs> just sort of combine it into one day for you to get one fluid vlog. And then I sort of, I still vlog every day, but then I only have to edit once, right? So it gives me a little bit of time to spend time with friends and stuff sometimes when I'm at home. And sometimes I'm selfish and I take that time for me. And it's playtime. Playtime, playtime, playtime. This is what we do every day. Except at home, we actually have the opportunity to film it more often. <laughs> oh, and that neighbor dog over there is just barking away. Do you hear him? No, they don't care. <laughs> they stay on their own yard. I never really trained them to do that. They just sort of did that on their own. They're just smart. And they just, they're obsessed with rustling. A couple of boys. Get him, Diesel. Come on, Sergeant, get him. Come on, Diesel, get him. I'm trying, man. I'm trying, but he's really quick and sneaky. It's really hard to get a hold of him. And they're off. Sergeant tapped out once. Round two. He's got to catch me first, man. I'm quick. He can't catch me, man. I'll get you. I'll get you, man. Oh, gee, I got you. I got you, man. Now I don't know what to do with you. Oh, 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 oh that is a strange, uh, strange maneuver there. Strange tactics. Oh, it's just gonna sit on his face, man. That's the best way. Yes, burgers again. Supper of champions. This guy. Oh, it smells so good. You guys have no idea. It smells so good. Where's the boys? Diesel, Sergeant, why aren't you here? They're not even being distracted by the good burger smell. Come on, they smell good, man. Admit it. Admit it. Oh yeah, I think this one's done. Yes, sir. You are done, my friend. Oh, my good friend. You are done. Mm. Yeah. Flip that one over yet, a little bit behind. Throw a little bit of seasoning salt down there. You got yourself one fine redneck summer. Summer, 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 summer. Like, look at that right there and tell me that does not look delicious. You got a bun, sandwiching, some ketchup, a burger, and some Miracle Whip in a combination of joy. Mmm, and then you got the cold pizza in the background there just for effect. Thank you very much, Bachelor Life. It's actually going in the garbage. <laughs> But we won't focus on that. We're focusing on this. Mmm. You want some? You want some? Too bad it's all mine. How about you? It's all mine. You gotta fight me for it, man. You really wanna fight me, man? You really wanna fight me, man? I'll take you out. 
You guys gonna gang up on me now? You guys gonna gang up on me? What about the vlog? Who's gonna edit the vlog if you kill me? We're not gonna kill you, man. We're just gonna tickle you till you fart. And then you'll give us your burgers. So thanks for joining me on this two-day journey of my life put into one video. I'm here in my room. Here is my bed. And here is my head. It is about to hit that pillow and be out within probably 10 minutes after I eat those burgers. So we're gonna put on a movie in here and fall asleep early today. I know, what's going on? Thanks for joining us today, we'll see you tomorrow.